Look around you. Every day, millions of people going about their everyday lives, doing everyday things, seemingly unaware of the potential dangers they come in contact with every day. Water. Besides the air we breathe, it's the most important substance to life on the planet. We can live for several weeks without food, but we can only live three or four days without water. We all know that water is vital to life and that clean water is crucial to our health, but that's something lots of us take for granted every time we pour a glass of water from our faucet, jump into the shower, or even grab a bottle of water from the refrigerator. But the fact is that not all water is safe for our health or our environment. Not all water is even good for you. Surprising? Absolutely. The problem, water, the way nature intended, is full of natural minerals, including calcium and magnesium, two minerals which are key to sustaining a healthy life. Calcium and magnesium are extremely important to our bodies because they use them to help build strong bones and teeth and prevent osteoporosis, as well as natural buffering agents, which reduce the acidity of the water. Without these minerals, water would be too acidic for humans to drink. But increasingly, there are a number of pollutants found in the water we drink, cook with, and bathe in that nature never intended. According to the EPA, less than one half of 1% of the Earth's total water supply is usable fresh water. Not drinkable, simply usable. A fact that may surprise you is that nature doesn't create water. It simply recycles the water that we already have. That means that the water we use today has been around for millions of years. Environmental pollution and needless waste impact our ability to get fresh water. Not to mention that household pesticides, fertilizers, and other contaminants also make their way into our water systems every day. In fact, scientists have found traces of prescription drugs in our nation's water supplies. Ideally, the best water is one that is free of contaminants, but also retains its natural minerals. That's key, because while there are things in water that we want to take out, the central minerals like calcium and magnesium are things we have to keep in. Ask most people about their tap water, and they'll tell you it either tastes or smells bad, probably as a result of chemicals and other contaminants contained in the water. Over the years, hardness has been unjustly associated with water's bad taste or smell. But hardness is really only the amount of calcium and magnesium found in the water and adds no flavor or odor. However, hard water does have several negative attributes that most homeowners want to eradicate. Hard water can cause leftover residue in your dishes and clothes from calcium deposits and damage your hair and skin. Hard water can also cause scale buildup in your plumbing and appliances, like water heaters and dishwashers, which can lead to corrosion of your pipes and costly repairs. For the better part of 50 years, the basic methods of fixing hard water in your home haven't changed. Install a water softener, right? But what we have learned is that water softeners present even more health and environmental risks than originally thought. More on the negative effects of water softeners later. Every day we face new obstacles in keeping water safe and trying to reduce the number of waterborne diseases from improperly treated water. But that's just the half of it. Some of the biggest issues we have with our water have come from actually trying to fix the issue with our water. Take chlorine for instance. It was added by municipal water treatment plants with the goal of killing the bacteria in our water, which it did. Years later though, we're learning what was once considered to be a very good thing for our health. Well, it isn't. Why? Because our bodies actually absorb chlorine. Here's a test to prove it. We pour two glasses of tap water right out of the faucet then we put a couple of OTO drops from a common pool testing kit. You know, the drops you use to test your pool water for chlorine. One, two, three, four, five. Now, by the reaction, we know that water's got a lot of chlorine. Now, before testing the water in this glass, I'm going to slip my fingers in here for just a few seconds. Now, I'm going to add the same pool test drops into it. One, two, three, four, five. No reaction. So where did the chlorine go? That's right, and me. Imagine how much chlorine and other contaminants you absorb in the shower or when bathing your children. So what about the food and vegetables that you thought you were washing? Here's a third test. I get a glass of water. 
again from the faucet. I'm going to put an onion in it. Now I'm going to add the OTO drops from the pool test kit into it. No reaction. You may be thinking you're actually cleaning your vegetables and fruits, but what you're actually doing is saturating them with chlorine. And that's serious, especially since recently scientists have discovered that heavily chlorinated water and byproducts can be hazardous to our health. The President's Council on Environmental Quality has even stated that there is increased evidence for an association between rectal, colon, and bladder cancer and the consumption of chlorinated drinking water. Plus, a study by the Environmental Working Group and Public Interest Research Groups released in 2002 stated that consuming chlorinated byproducts may cause serious health issues in pregnant women, including miscarriage, neural tube defects, and reduced fetal growth. And, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, showering is suspected as the primary cause of elevated levels of chloroform in nearly every home. While the EPA did adopt new regulations in 1980 that required cities to cut down on the amount of chlorination byproducts in water, that alone hasn't been enough. As a matter of fact, Dr. Robert Harris, an environmental scientist and member of the White House Advisory Council, has even encouraged the use of home purifying systems. Choosing a water filtration system for your home is one of the biggest decisions you will make in safeguarding your family. But be careful. Many people believe that a water softener is actually a filter and filters out chlorine and other harmful contaminants, when actually a water softener's primary purpose is to reduce the hardness of the water. You need a filtration system that filters out contaminants in the water that you drink, bathe in, and cook with, while leaving in the minerals that are essential for human health. And that's exactly why thousands of satisfied customers have trusted Pelican Water Technologies for their family's water filtration needs. As a member of the U.S. Green Building Council and members of the Water Quality Association, our mission is to deliver high-quality water treatment products that enhance the lives of people and help preserve the environment. Thanks again for watching. We here at Pelican Water Technologies look forward to helping you and your family live healthier lives.